April is Distracted Driving Prevention Month, and a news conference was held this morning in Becker where county officials joined Rhonda Maurer to speak of the dangers of distracted driving. Last summer, 54-year-old Chuck Maurer and his 10-year-old daughter Cassie were killed as a result of a crash caused by a distracted driver. The loss of Chuck and Cassie has brought my family many types of different emotions. Pain from the loss of two amazing souls, anger from how they were taken from us, frustration from the preventability of the crash, and confusion from why we still pe see people doing this every day when they know the consequences. When was the last time you picked up your phone while you were driving? Was that phone call, text message, or email worth the life of someone else? Was it worth your own life? Futures are stolen every day because we think it won't happen to us. That is, until it does. It was an accident. I didn't mean to do it. I'm a good multitasker. I only look down for a second are the most common excuses. But they do not excuse the act of knowingly and willingly endangering your life and the lives of others. Think about that the next time you reach for your phone while you are driving. Driving is a privilege, not a right. It is your responsibility to make a wise choice when behind the wheel. We are counting on you to do so. The next time you feel you have to reach for your phone to make a call, or you have to check the text message you just got, or you have to do something else that takes your mind off of driving, please remember Chuck and Cassie and all the lives this crash has affected in a negative way. If this does not move you to make a proactive choice to drive attentively, picture two of your own loved ones in this van behind me. Slip your feet into these shoes that have been forced upon my feet. It really tears you apart inside. If attitudes and behaviors do not change about distracted driving, it could easily happen to you next. Too many lives are being lost or stolen due to distracted driving. We need to give a voice to those who lost their voice, as Chuck and Cassie did, to distracted driving. Knowing that, we hope it will give you the willpower to wait to do those things until you are safely off the road and won't endanger yourself or others due to 100% preventability distraction. And I want to thank you in advance for making our road safer, one drive at a time, by ending distracted driving in your vehicle with your family. Thank you.